<laughs> Matt Crenshaw, Zeta Phi, 12. I'm assistant coach here at Ball State now. Uh, you know, been directly impacted by COVID. Uh, a couple of chapter bros have passed. And uh, one of our uh, GAs, his father passed away last week. So i uh, been directly affected that way. But like everyone, um, just the loss of the face-to-face -face interaction uh, from the recruiting side and the day-to-day -day with your players. But uh, for me, I think it gives you opportunity to look to build a relationship with your guys. Uh, a lot of guy, a lot of coaches only can relate to their players based around the game. So this gives you a great opportunity to really get to know them, to build a true relationship with them. Absolutely. I'd say the same. We we like to recruit nationally at, at Ball State, and then it just goes back to your relationships. We initially start off with our process being a three to four hour window. That's usually where most recruit, recruits would like to go. And then we just build out from our relationships. Like I was, a, I was a military brat kind of growing up, lived in a few different places, lived in a DMV, lived in Texas. Uh, when I was in the military, I lived in Oakland. I lived in uh, DC again. And so then being in the Midwest for about 18 years, you build on your relationships and uh, our staff, we just landed a kid about three days ago from Finland. So uh, we'll go to Europe, we'll go to Australia, but uh, it, it's worldwide recruiting, really. Uh, my one charge would be uh, for the young coaches. Everybody's journey and path is different. First, that's the thing. Everybody on this panel tonight has done it a different way. If you talk to them, their story is going to be different. Second, you got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in you, nobody will. Um, third, we, we, we've talked about development and, and, and skill development, but how are you developing as a coach? Mm -hmm. How are you getting better? Are you reading? Are you going to clinics? Are you, are you getting on the phone with coaches? Uh, how are you improving yourself daily? And then the last I say is just the why. Why are you doing this? Are you doing it to impact lives? Are you doing it to, to, to chase money and status? You got to make sure you're aligned and doing it for the right reasons uh, and then lean on your faith.